Welcome to chapter 2 of the Ultimate Hyper-V Guide. In this chapter, we're going to walk you through the process of setting up your very first virtual machine in Hyper-V. You'll learn how to create a new VM, configure its setting, install an operating system, and by the end of the chapter, you'll have a fully functional virtual machine running on your Hyper-V host. So, ready to get hands-on with Hyper-V? Let's dive in. Start by creating your virtual machine. You can do that by opening Hyper-V Manager. You can go to Start menu and open Hyper-V Manager. Or you can go to Server Manager, go to Tools and open Hyper-V Manager. Select the host if needed and click on New, Virtual Machine follow the wizard give it a name depending on the purpose this is a, a demo vm so we're giving the name demo vm and change the location where you can store the uh, configuration of the virtual machine Just next you can choose between generation one or generation two generation one is for compatibility with older operating systems like 2008, 2003, the generation 2 is for newer uh, operating system that has the UFI uh, based firmware and requires a 64-bit operating system. I recommend if you can always go with the generation 2 because it has uh, also advantages uh, for being, being faster. Specify the amount of memory, in this example we'll go with gigabytes of memory you can also select dynamic memory if you want and it will automatically go up and down depending on the memory that's required you can select a, a network uh, configuration if you don't have a network configuration you can always create one with the virtual switch manager for creating a hard drive it will automatically create a dynamically expanding hard drive you can specify the amount of storage you need for example 127 or 50 gigabytes depending on the storage need you can choose an ISO for your installation you can say install an operating system later press next and finish and we'll create your virtual machine To install an operating system, we right click on our VM, we press connect, press start. If you haven't already connected an ISO to your virtual machine, now is the time to do it. Go to File, Settings. You want to add under our, under our SQUSI controller a DVD drive. Press Add, specify your ISO, I've downloaded the version of the server 2022, press Apply and OK. There's no operating system found, so we can restart or you can press Reset to reboot your virtual machine. Make sure to press any key, like it says, and you can start with your installation process like any other device just follow the wizard to continue the installation to configure virtual machine settings you can go to file settings and adjust for example the amount of cpu cores the amount of memory you can change network settings you will notice for some uh, configuration settings the device has to be in a powered off state you cannot configure the amount of CPU cores to manage your virtual machine for starting we already demonstrated it you can go to connect and restart the machine by pressing start for shutting down you can use the turn off command it's like uh, 
pulling the plug so it's not a clean shutdown for a proper shutdown we recommend going inside the virtual machine and do the shutdown process the proper way Thank you for watching this chapter of the Ultimate Hyper-V Guide. We hope you find it informative and are excited to continue your journey into the world of Hyper-V. Stay tuned for more insights and hands-on guides. For our dedicated supporters, upcoming chapters are available right now exclusively for YouTube members. Each week a new chapter will be released for everyone to enjoy, so don't worry if you're not a member yet. And if you're eager to dive into the entire guide, you can download the full book on Ko-fi. It's available for free or with any contribution you like to make. Your support helps to grow this channel and continue providing valuable content to the community. So join us. Hit that subscribe button, give us a thumbs up and share this series with anyone who might benefit from mastering Hyper-V. Your support really means the world to us. Thank you once again for joining us. We look forward to seeing you in the next chapter. Let's continue our journey into virtualization together. See you soon.